Let's make your website super fast with just one click. Okay, first, why I'm making this video? On my channel, I create so many videos about website speed optimization and they got millions of views. But always there's one problem, people who are not technical, sometimes their website got broke. And then I needed to create six or eight more videos to solve their issues that how you can fix those problems. For example, this video on Lightspeed Cache plugin, it got more than 130,000 views. And then there are thousands of comments on all these videos. I'm just trying to help people how to fix their website. And this video I posted three years ago and until this day, I'm still helping people to fix their website for people who are not very technical because a person like me or a developer can use any plugin and get best scores for your website. But people who are not technical, with them, this is always a problem. They can use different services, but the website breaks. And recently, Airlift team contacted me and told me about the services. And I said, okay, why not? Let's try this plugin. There's another service about website speed optimization. So let's try it. And as you can see, the highlight here is ultra fast WordPress sites with the click of a button. You can come to this free service with the link in the description of this video. Another reason why I wanted to create this video is because you can see this shows everything works real nicely. You just need to install the plugin on your website. Set them in 60 seconds only and then let Airlift do the best. You just need to add your website with one click and then everything rest is taken care of. Okay, now let's talk about why this plugin is so important. Okay, so after dozens of email and multiple calls with Airlift team and with his CEO of the Airlift Akshat, I was convinced that the plugin got some potential. This plugin is work in progress, but I was really amazed by a lot of things which this plugin offers. For most of the people, what you do, even on my channel, you can see I create so many videos about it, that how can you use different plugins to make your website super fast. Sometimes you need a cache plugin, a CSS JavaScript optimization plugin, a WebP conversion plugin, image optimization plugin, a lot of different plugins. And even after using all those things, your website breaks. But this plugin is something different. During the calls and during my own testing, I find out this work a little bit different. And during the communication with the ALF team, I find out there's a real dedicated team of software engineers who are behind it. So whenever a new website is added on the system and something wrong happens, for example, a page got broke, the team of software engineers is looking at your issue. You just need to signal the issue, you need to disable the ALF from your website and they're gonna take care of it. Where what happened in traditional plugins of speed optimization, whenever you use those plugins on your website or those services on your website, there's the generic algorithm which is used to optimize all the website but here the team of software engineers are tweaking in real time the algorithms each website and this is the point i was convinced to create this video because most of the people are having issue when the website broke they get no help you can create multiple support ticket but in the end it's always okay our plugin is not responsible our service is not responsible please deactivate all the other plugins and then you can use our plugin to optimize your website but this plugin is real different. A big team of real software engineers, they're taking care of your website and something broke, they're gonna fix it. And then I thought, okay, this is not very sustainable. How many engineers you need to hire to take care of all the website? For example, today they have 1000 websites, tomorrow 10,000, maybe in future 1 million. And then very quickly it came to my mind, it is not about the number of website they have in the system. It is more about the plugins and themes exist on WordPress. Because a lot of people use the same plugin and same themes on the website. For example, if you use Astro theme, and you add your website to Airlift and Airlift optimizes your website but the menu of your website broke on mobile devices. So what will happen, the team of software engineers, they'll fix the issue of menu breaking and extra theme on your website. And what happens? When they fix that issue on your website, all the websites who are using extra theme with Airlift, that fix is applied to all those websites. And I understood very quickly, this is really sustainable and that is the way how things should be. Things should not be like you create one rule for all the website and then they break and then people just spending hours and hours to fix their websites. For example, I give example of my own website. I had my website to airlift and you can see this heading here. You can see the text is just slide from left side. It was broken on mobile devices, but it got fixed very quickly on my website. I just contacted the airlift team and it all got fixed very quickly on my website. Not just my website, all the website on airlift, which are using extra theme and have this kind of heading on their hero image on mobile devices. All the website got benefit from this fix. So I had multiple calls with Airlift team and CEO of Airlift and I was really happy how they're doing things at Airlift. I'll play a small portion of the call I had with CEO of Airlift, Akshat, and you can see what is his vision about website speed optimization. And this is, leads to a great example. What will happen is you'll have a JavaScript, a slider JavaScript or a pop-up JavaScript or a, some JavaScript. Load another JavaScript. It's very common to Elementor. <laughs> One JavaScript will load another JavaScript and there's good reason behind it, why they do it. Right. And because what you don't want is you don't want, you want to select what kind of asset is there. And then based on that asset type or uh, widget type, you want to load the actual widgets, JavaScript, right. Or code, because all of this has complexity. So JavaScript A will lead to JavaScript B will load a CSS file, which will have a background image. 
okay now what does this mean one cycle so browser has to finish one cycle second cycle has to happen third cycle has to happen css and then the background image needs to get loaded so effectively four cycles have to happen and four hops means here go to and whatever you do this four hops it is always going to be four hops now is it possible for us to reduce that four hops to one hop because now we understand it we understand the flow because we are doing post processing we are not doing pre we are not looking from elementor's perspective we are looking from our own perspective and there's some important answers akshat gave me when i asked him what is the difference between airlift and other similar services and he gave me the answer airlift makes the page size minimum in comparison to any other similar website optimization services and then i asked what are the three things which makes airlift different which no other plugin have so first thing he said easy to use with no configuration second thing it take care of all optimization you don't need to do anything and the third thing is free you don't need to pay for airlift it's a free service which brings us to the next interesting topic why this is free okay so during the call akshat told me that they always face this issue when the website is really slow and they want to make something about it they want to make industry standard when the website is fast not just this they have different other products for wordpress and because they are facing the same problem that's why they gather a team of software engineers and they work years to create this plugin so they wanted to make this industry standard to have fast website and also they have other products if they provide fast website the happy customer would buy other products what this company provides like this channel i provide a lot of free content which i learned over the last 15 years of my experience so i also share those things free on this channel and guys this is very important video watch until the end we're going to learn how to implement a lift on your website and what you can do when there is issue on your website how you can fix it how you can contact the a lift team and in the end i will also tell you if this plugin service doesn't work for you how you can remove it from your website okay you need to come to the official website of airlift i will add the link in description of this video so you can come on the official website and then you need to click on sign up and then either you can sign up using your email or you can connect with google i already have an account on airlift i'll just sign in into my account then i'll copy my website url and i'll add my website url here and then click on continue okay now you have three options here you can auto install plugin you can add your wordpress username and password or what you can do you can do manual installation you can click to download the airlift plugin or if you already have the plugin here you can click on test plugin if i click on download here you can see the wp remote plugin is downloaded because airlift is like part of a big ecosystem so if you can download wp remote you can use airlift and other services also but i will add the link in description so you can click on that link and you can directly download the plugin file for airlift only so check the link in description and download the file and then you can click on add new plugin and now click on upload plugin and then browse and then select the plugin and then open and click on install now and you can see plugin installed successfully and then click on activate plugin and then you can see here it is syncing so it's going to take some time to completely optimize your website and if i go back to my website in left side bar you can find this option a lift you can always come here and there's only two option here to visit the dashboard and connect new account and the optimization is happening here in real time so if i click here you can see performance score right now is 88 before it was 51 but now it's already increased to 88 it might take some time to completely optimize your website you can see it said 900 kb in total time 3.7 second if you click on details here you can see optimization detail the original site was 61 even we checked it was 51 before originally but airlift said it was 61 and then optimized site is 88 normally i check it the size improve and it was almost 100 but you need to wait for some time and then you can see a lot of details here page size request count and you can see all the pages which are optimized so you can see right now it is optimizing in the background that's why we have only 88 otherwise it was 1900 that was really crazy with how much little effort like with just one click you can get such high scores i was really impressed by this and you can see a lot of things here home page optimization they are still working and the time pass you can refresh this page and you can see the things going to change on this page you can see image resizing is done web pick conversion is done on home page this is the home page optimization and then image lazy loading is done image is optimized done and then you can see use css done critical css minified defer request size of css everything is done javascript automation is done we have delayed so many script here font optimization is done google font is optimized font conversion to wav is done font subsetting done all other feature are enabled broadly compression lighthouse iframe lazy loading page caching is enabled and all these things here you can see before the fcp was 43 now 97 lcp was 2 now 78 cls 100 100 good already speed index 14 to 36 and total blocking time 100 to 100 and there lot of other things happened here and there some other options here you can see quick actions are here if you have any issue you can disable air lift when you disable air lift a ticket will be generated and the team will know of real software engineers 
that there's some issue on your website and they will fix it. And then you refresh your content by purge cache. So you can purge the cache from here. If you want to refresh and recalculate optimization to latest site changes, you can re-optimize the website. And then your optimization settings, you can see there's cache, JavaScript, style sheet, image, font. You know my specialty is speed optimization and I create so many videos about, you know, all these settings, how you can check different settings on cache, JavaScript, CSS. But in this video, the airlift, I'm not going to explain anything here because during the call with CEO, he told me, okay, this page is not really important. It is here for only advanced users who want to tweak with something. If you're advanced user, you can do it. But he told me they want to target the plugin to mass audience. So anybody without any technology can optimize their website with their Lyft plugin. So what all you need to do is you need to add your website and everything else is taken care of. You don't need to touch this page. And you guys, if you refresh the page, but you still don't see the better scores, it's possible you have caching on your hosting. So make sure you clear the caching on your hosting. Or if you're using Cloudflare, make sure you clear the caching from Cloudflare. Because I tried this on multiple websites and all the results were really great. This was a small issue that result doesn't change really quickly because I have caching on my hosting and also on Cloudflare. So make sure you properly clear the cache. Let this process complete. It might take some time when you're on here, Airlift dashboard. You can see when it's running, the site is still getting optimized. So it might take some time. Okay, one very important thing, what you need to do is let's test the website right now. You need to open a private window in a different browser and then open your website. And then you need to test is everything is loading fine or not. So you can check everything is loading fine. If there's a WooCommerce website, so I can go just on, you know, one of the products. For example, I provide web consultation. If you want a web consultation about any issue on your website, you can book web consultation with me here. And then your website report. If you want me to hire to optimize your website, you can hire me also here. I can see everything is working real nice. What is something not working fine on your website? What you need to do is, because this is the problem with a lot of people. That's why Airlift plugin comes into existence. So what you need to do here is, you just need to click here and disable Airlift. And once you disable Airlift, that's it. The ticket will be raised and the team of software engineer will be notified that something is broken on your website and they're going to fix it for you. And once you disable Airlift from your website, you can go back to your website, check in private browsing, that Airlift will be disabled on your website. And if you still see your website broken, that's because of your browser cache. Because a lot of people face this issue when something broke on the website and they don't know how to revert the website back. So you just need to disable the Airlift plugin from here and then your website will be back. Airlift will not optimize your website. And after some time, what you can do, you can come back here and then you can click on enable Airlift. Then you receive another email that Airlift is enabled. And just to make sure if you don't want to use this plugin, what you can do, you can go back to plugins and then from here you can deactivate this plugin and then you can click on delete. And the plugin is completely deleted from your website because I know a lot of people face this issue and they're really confused that even after deactivating plugin, their website is not back. Honestly, it doesn't happen in most of the cases. Once you deactivate the plugin, the website will back. If it's still not back, it means there's some cache on your website. So make sure you read the cache and then your website will be back. And meanwhile, the Airlift team is working on your website issue. And guys, honestly, I tell you this plugin is a real nice plugin. The real nice team behind this plugin is working very hard to make your website faster. And if you still face some issue, let me know in comments. I'll reply to all the comments on this channel. And also I'll ask the Airlift team, they can provide some support to you guys. And also I'll add the email for Airlift team so you can contact them directly if your website breaks. I think all this person making this video took like around one month and they're always very helpful to solve any issue. And I'm really happy with this plugin. They're working so hard to make this plugin better every day. And I understand a lot of things are beta version here. And this might be a little bit confusing if you're not familiar with the blog world and W remote ecosystem. But if you start using it, you will understand everything. Let me know if you use the plugin and how much it improves score on your website. And like always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate that. And now if you already optimize your website and you want to rank top on Google search engine, check this video on screen.